you maybe have seen, they have this up at the booth, but it's still one I enjoy. Oops, my slides are getting behind schedule here. Smashing spheres, okay? I've got here a sphere made of iron that's coated with nice rusty coating there of iron oxide. This is another one that I've just wrapped in aluminum foil. Rust and aluminum foil. Talk about mundane reactants. And generally, we don't see reactions between solids. There's not very good contact between solids, right? We always have things reacting in the solution or gases or liquids. But two solids reacting, when does that happen? You've really got to force it to happen here, OK? So I'm going to smash these. And I saw a really good photo of this in the um, exhibit hall. Go search the exhibit hall later on. There's a big bulletin. OK, yeah, we can do like that. Um, first, actually, with the lights on, OK? So you can see. And so I don't hit my thumb. <laughs> wow. OK, now the light's off. When my students are demonstrating, as I said, I videotape that. And I make it available to my students um, on something called SchoolTube. So if they miss the demo or they want to go back and, and rewatch it, they can do that. But in videotaping them, I happen upon this. So oh, first, let me show you the. Uh, Sometimes the most mundane subject matter can be made spectacular if you approach it from the right angle. But I'm serious. Think about that. There was, there's truth in that. With collisions, angles everything. And with students, angles are everything, isn't it? A teacher who is attempting to teach without inspiring the pupil with the desire to learn is hammering on cold iron. You see all the connections? Horace Mann. So get the lights down for this. This is actually a, shows some successive images from that. And the, it actually shows up better on film, because I think the camera was sensitive to UV, uh, the infrared light. That was a student doing it there. That's one frame. Uh, there's one frame. The next one, look at this one. I love that transition. The loud noise you heard was the reaction between the iron oxide and the aluminum. But this spark spray you see is not that. Those are those little pieces of iron, hot iron coming off there that are igniting in air. I'm pretty convinced of that. I, I guess I to really prove that, I need to do this demonstration, let's say, in an oxygen-free environment. Well, you know what I'm saying. Just strike them together in a room that has the oxygen flushed out, because I don't think you'd see that. I think that's those little tiny hot pieces of iron burning again, re recombining with the oxygen. The loud noise and the thing that produced the heat was the original reaction, which, by the way, is the same reaction as thermite. But this wonderful display you get there, and then look, there, and then even past that. One more. A couple of them are still burning, those little pieces of iron. And then it's dark. OK? Lights back up.